Hi, I'm Mel and I'm going to talk to you about Buxton Mountain Rescue Team's drones. So we have two drones, both come in these um, protective cases that we've got. I'm going to talk to you about the sort of kit that we take with us when we go with the drones. So we have the drone itself, which is a Mavic Pro. We have two of these, as I said. This is the actual remote control for the drone. And as you can see, you get a bigger screen that you can have a look at things. Mavic Pro comes with a camera that's capable of taking still photographs and taking videos as well and you've got the function there to zoom in um, have a look at any of the pictures that you've taken. We have a memory card within the drones as well which allows us to then take that memory card out and have a look at things later on. So you can take it to a search vehicle such as this and have a look at the information on the card uh, on a larger screen which makes it a lot easier to see. We have four batteries for each drone. One battery lasts about 27 minutes, gives us 27 minutes flight time. That's dependent on the weather quite a lot. Wind speed is a bit of an issue uh, we can fly in winds up to about uh, 20 miles an hour. Obviously it has a bit of an impact on the battery life of the drone. Charging time is about 45 minutes, which is why we have several batteries. So we've always got the spare batteries put onto the drone. Part of the kit as well, we have these spare propellers. So the drone Mavic Pro is a quadricopter. So it's got four pairs of propellers, as you can see on the model that's down there. So we always carry spares, just in case of accidents. We've also got things like this. So this is checks wind speed and temperature. So as I said, wind's very important because we can't fly in high winds. It's also quite important to, uh, to know what's around you. So we've carried a compass with us as well. And we have air charts. So these are a different to maps because these have got a lot of information about static structures, sort of chimneys, masts, that sort of thing, the height of them. It's also got a lot of information here uh, to do with airports. So we, they follow the drone code at all times. So we're not allowed to fly certain areas. All our pilots are licensed with the CAA. Uh, that's quite a, an intensive course, it takes about 12 months uh, remote learning, so you do that online. You pass your theory exam and that allows you to go and do your practical exam, uh, which is about another half an hour or something like that. And when you've passed the two, uh, then you can fly the drones. So that really is the drones themselves, so say so we have two kits exactly the same. And then with that we've got all the accessory equipment. So as you can see on the right hand side we've got uh, our cones. So we have to make sure that we haven't got people within a certain distance when we're taking off and landing. So we space the cones out so that it keeps people away. And we've got the landing mat as well, designated landing mat for us to take off from. Anybody that's going to be flying the drones or observing wears a safety tabard so they're easily identifiable. We make sure that we've got signage up to warn the public that we're flying in that area just to make sure that they're aware. And we always have two people when we're flying. So we have the drone pilot themselves who focuses on the drone, has to fly within visual line of sight at all times. And then we have an observer. Uh, the observer's job is to have a look around, see if there are any other aircraft, any people in the area, or any birds. So, uh, birds can get a little bit upset if you're flying a drone in the area. Whenever we're out on operations, we have to also fill in some paperwork. Um, we have our own specific paperwork to Butson Mountain Rescue Team. And they include our risk assessments, for general flying and our site-specific risk assessments. Also within that, we keep a, a log of pilot hours and the amount of time which drone has flown for. So it's sort of a maintenance log. So we'll record which batteries have been used, how long that we've flown on them for, how often they've been recharged, etc. Also, just in case of uh, accidents or incidents, we make sure that we have a um, fire extinguisher with us. Uh, this is a specific one for the batteries that the drone uses. So you have to go out and make sure you get the right one for that. Uh, and we've also got just a small first aid kit with us as well, just in case. So if we have a look at the drone itself, a little, little bit closer. So as I said, our, our drones are Mavic Pros. They're quadricopters, so they've got the four spinning rotors. And this one has a camera already on it, which has got a gimbal, so it goes everywhere. You can angle it up and down, you can alter the contrast. It takes static photographs and it also takes video as well, which we can watch later on. Um, you can fit a memory card into this as well, so it's not just sort of real-time viewing on the monitor, you can actually review it later on. This is the battery area on the top, uh, four batteries that we've got for these, each battery lasts uh, about 22 minutes and then we can recharge them. We've got all the batteries numbered so that we know uh, how often the batteries have been used and recharged. Um, and we've got all the equipment for the drones separately recorded, so everything to do with drone A and everything to do with drone B. Um, they're quite lightweight, uh, fit in the palm of your hand. They have sensors at the front of them, so you can't fly into something. So that's it from me about the drones for Buxton Mountain Rescue Team. 
I hope you've enjoyed this short video. Please like and subscribe.